Welcome to another edition of Coonrod's Corner, brought to you by the Rogers Corporation. Today's topic, how to use the MWI calculator. Here's your host, John Coonrod. Hello and welcome to Coonrod's Corner. My name is John Coonrod and I'm a Senior Market Development Engineer for Rogers Corporation Advanced Circuit Materials Division. I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about an overview and how to use the MWI calculator. The MWI calculator is a software that's used to calculate and predict impedance and losses of common transmission lines used in the microwave and millimeter wave industry. There are several versions of MWI and they are found at the Rogers Technology Support Hub website. The following is a screenshot of the home page for the Technology Support Hub and it can be seen that the calculator link there is where these calculators are found at for MWI. A simple version of the MWI calculator can be run from the Technology Support Hub web page. There's also another version that is relatively basic that can be run on a Raj mobile app. And then the last version is also a downloadable version that is um, more complete and has more options. And that downloadable version is also downloadable from the Rogers Technology Support Hub. So the three versions are MWI 2010 that can be run from the uh, Rogers Technology Support Hub web page. The version that is the Raj mobile app is also MWI 2010. And then the final version is MWI 2014, which is downloadable and is meant to be used for personal computers. The Raj mobile app is available for Android devices as well as iPad and iPhones. The Android devices can download the app from the Google Play and the iPhone and iPad can be downloaded from the App Store. The following screenshot is of the MWI calculator and this is the MWI calculator that could be used and is used on the Raj mobile app. Again, it's a simple version of the MWI 2010 calculator. The MWI 2014 calculator is the version that can be downloaded from our Rogers Technology Support Hub and that has much more capabilities and it is meant to be used with uh, personal computers. This also has the design DK built into it, which is a very good tool for how we've determined dielectric constant based on measuring microstrip transmission line circuits over a variety of conditions. The MWI calculator uses closed form equations and it gives the fast calculation of impedance and losses for a variety of transmission line circuits. The different options for different transmission line circuits are the microstrip transmission line, also microstrip edge coupled transmission line. There is a grounded coplanar transmission line available. There's also strip line single ended versions. And there's also strip line edge coupled and, ben and uh, broadside coupled versions as well. There are also tutorials available for download from our Rogers Technology Support Hub for the MWI calculators. And uh, the screenshot shown here shows one of these uh, tutorials, a portion of it. I will now give a quick demonstration of the MWI 2014 software looking at predicting impedance and losses. The model will be looking at a microstrip transmission line. I will be using 20 mil thick RO4835 laminate as well as a conductor width of 42 mils wide and a frequency of 5 gigahertz. Now let's go ahead and look at this model as it's being done. I am now going to do a demonstration of the MWI 2014 software and what I'm going to do here is go to design type, then microstrip conventional, then I'll select the material that I'm wanting to look at. The material in this case is going to be RO4835 laminate. I've selected that and you can see from the thickness drop down box the available thicknesses. I'm going to select 20 mils thick and then I'm going to change the conductor width to be 042, 42 mils. And then if I want, I could change the conductor thickness, the copper thickness. I'm going to leave it where it is, half ounce ED copper. I'll change the frequency to 5 gigahertz. And then after that, hit the calculate button. So what's shown in the output uh, is the impedance. There are several things, obviously. The impedance is probably the most important, and it's around 51 ohms. So we probably, if we want to hit 50 ohms, we probably should adjust the conductor width a little bit. The total losses are shown here as well. I will now do another demonstration of the MWI 2014 software and keep it relatively simple looking at a microstrip transmission line circuit again. In this case I'm going to change the material to be a 10 mil thick RO3003 laminate and at this point we do not understand what the conductor width is so we're going to use the option in the software to synthesize or determine the conductor width for a given impedance and that is shown now. In this case I'm going to go to microstrip again, microstrip conventional. I'm going to select a uh, material that is the RO3003 laminate 
And from that material, when you go to the thickness drop-down box, you see uh, uh, the standard material thicknesses available. I'm going to go to 20 mils thick. The conductor width in this case, I don't know. So I'm going to use a um, option of the software to use synthesis. And that means it's going to calculate the given width that is needed to achieve the impedance I want. In this case, 50 ohms, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to change the frequency to 2 gigahertz and then calculate. Pressing the calculate button does two things. One is it shows the conductor width that is appropriate for achieving 50 ohm impedance here. Also up here in the output text box, it also shows the same thing. This concludes this session of Coonrod's Corner. Thank you for watching. For additional information and technical tools, if you are not already a member, Join the Rogers Technology Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more of Coonrod's Corner and other informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Raj mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.